China is now at the key stage of the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Our economy has transformed from a phase featured by high-speed growth to one featured by high-quality growth. Our society is undergoing profound changes with people's growing needs for a better life, long-term positive economic trend, vast market potential, and resilient development drive. We are forming a new development pattern with domestic economic cycle playing a leading role, while international and domestic cycles mutually reinforce each other. At the same time, our economy is in a critical period of uh, transformation of development modes, also optimization of economic structure and shifts in driving forces to achieve high quality development, we still need to improve a lot. And the development of special economic zones is faced with difficulties and challenges. The new era calls for new responsibilities and new endeavors. In the development of the special economic zones in the new era, we should hold high the great banner of socialism with Chinese characteristics, comprehensively promote the five-sphere integrated plan and the four-point comprehensive strategy. We have to keep in mind the overall initiatives of our countries in the new development stage and implement new development concept. We should promote high quality development, shape new development landscape, and in the spirit of unswerving efforts with readiness to brave difficulties, we will continue to reform and open it up. We will promote reform and opening up at a higher starting point and to open up new prospects for the work of special economic zones to make new and greater contribution in the building of a modernized socialist country and the realization of the second centenary goal. The Central Committee has high expectations towards Shenzhen's reform and opening up innovation and development. In August last year, the CBC Central Committee issued the guidelines on supporting Shenzhen in building a pilot demonstration area of socialism with Chinese characteristics. It is with comprehensive instructions. Shenzhen is to build itself into a pilot demonstration area of uh, socialism with Chinese characteristics and to become a model city of a great modern socialist country. Shenzhen should enhance its capacity and level in implementing new development concepts and persist in deepening reform comprehensively and expand opening up unswervingly. Shenzhen should also promote the development of Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and uh, enrich the new practice of one country, two systems. Shenzhen will also take the lead to realize socialist modernization. This is the historical mission of Shenzhen given by the CPC Central Committee in the new era. <laughs>